So, um, so yeah, lots of shit to talk about this week. Um, first thing I changed as president, um, I'd do whatever I could for gay rights because that's really something I'm really passionate about. If you guys have seen my signature on the K forums, no one hate, don't hate. Okay, it's like something I'm really passionate about and it's something I will always fight for is gay rights. It I've always been passionate about it. Like well like within like the last five or six years it's something I've really been passionate about. Um so favorite candy? Um I have several favorites. Starburst, Jolly Ranchers, Jawbreakers, Star Warheads, Butterfingers. Um, those are pretty much my favorites. Um and I think there's like uh candy bar made by Hershey's called S'mores or something like that. And it's like really good. It's like a little piece of heaven. It's like so good. <laughs> but yeah. Can't remember exactly what it's called. But yeah. Um my favorite flavor of like blow pops and stuff. I haven't had a Tootsie Roll or a Blow Pop in like a really long time. But I love Dum Dums. Um I don't know if I really have a favorite flavor. I just love all of them. They're really tasty. Um what will I be dressing up as for Halloween? Well, sadly, I am kind of too old to go trick-or-treating. 22 is a little old for that, yeah. Um, and you know what? I've actually never been to a Halloween party because I've never known anyone that has thrown one. But I've always wanted to go to a Halloween party just to have, like, an excuse, just to have, like, an excuse to dress up for Halloween. But I've never been invited to a Halloween party. So, like, if you guys know anyone in my area that's throwing one, tell them to invite me. <laughs> So yeah, I won't be dressing up as Hall this Halloween. Yeah. I know I suck. But my favorite, um, this I think this is like the last time I actually went trick-or-treating out when I was like a 15 and a sophomore in high school. I stayed out over at my friend Salima's house. I slept at her house that night. It was actually a school night, so we were like super tired the next day because <laughs> we stayed up talking like half the night. But yeah, it was worth it because it was awesome. Um... Her and I went trick or treating, and um, <laughs> my friend Salima went as Dark Angel, and she had like a, used a towel as a cape, and she had like this teddy bear that like she supposedly saved, like out of a tree or something. <laughs> and she went as Dark Angel, and she had a sign that she taped to the towel, and it said Dark Angel written in like crayon or marker or something. And oh my god! <laughs> and so like, and I was dressed as a dancer. I just wore like a dance uniform that I had from one of my um many dance performances that I did, like, over the years. So I just wore my, like, dance outfit. Um, it's like this one-piece blue sequiny thing, and I went as a dancer. And, um, and so we got teased by these guys, and like, what the heck are you guys supposed to be? And Salima was like, I'm Dark Angel. And I was like, I'm a dancer. One guy was like, sluts. And I was like, what? And the w one dude was like the one making all the comments. Like, the other dude was kind of nice. And I was like, oh, he's... And Salima and I were like, oh, he was sweet. Then the other guy was like this major jerk. <laughs> and so... <laughs> and so, like, I, I don't know why, but, like, every house we went to, like, they would be, like, not far behind or not far ahead of us. Like, I don't know. We kept running into them at, like, different houses and stuff. And, like, one time we're walking down the street and it's, like, dark, right? And so, like... I don't remember what exactly they said, but they said something to piss us off. And so Selena started get, getting at her candy, and she's like, throwing her candy at them. And she's like, damn it, where's all the... She's like, not my good candy. <laughs> she's like looking for the crappy stuff that she could throw at them. It was so funny. And then, like, they were, like, running away. She's like, damn it, trying to find her <laughs> bad candy. <laughs> it was so funny. Talent that we'd want to get overnight. Um, I love to, like, be able to play the guitar. I've tried to teach myself, and it's pretty pathetic. Um, so I know Miranda plays the guitar, and I think Amanda, you do too. Um, so that's like really awesome, and like you guys need to teach me because I really want to learn. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I'm supposed to listen to you guys as bands. Um, I would film myself like going through MySpaces and stuff, but it's like really late at night, and my parents are like going to bed right now. So, yeah, I would probably get yelled at. Um, so I promise you guys I will listen to them, like, t tomorrow sometime during the day, Thursday night right now. So I promise I will listen to them, but I just won't get it on film. Sorry. So, yeah. 
my challenge for this week is to um, record yourself singing on MySpace karaoke to the song Baby Got Back. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, it's Thursday night, so I'm not going to film it right now. I might film it tomorrow. Um, so yeah, if I do end up filming it, it will be in this video like right now. But if not, I will do it next week. Promise. Um, so yeah. Film yourself singing Very Got Back on MySpace karaoke. Not the whole song, but just like, I don't know, part of it. And I dedicate this challenge to Lee Norris slash Mouth McFadden because he's awesome. Um, Amy Cooney, if you're watching this, um, my friend Aaron is actually your new intern. So, yeah, small world, right? Um, he actually used to be on this channel. If you go back to, like, the early days of this channel, like, the first few weeks, um, he was our Wednesday before Leah replaced him. Um, so, yeah, um, that's your new intern. Um, and actually, actually, Aaron and I were just talking tonight, and, um, we were talking about going to Wilmington sometime next year, like, next summer or next fall. Um, I've wanted to go for years because, even before One Tree Hill existed, because I was a huge fan of Dawson's Creek. It was my life before One Tree Hill came along. And so, now I have two shows that I love that film there, and I really want to go there really badly. I've wanted to go for years. And so now I actually know someone that wants to go, too, so I have someone to go with. So him and I will be flying out there sometime next year. Um, so, and Laura said that she really wanted to go and, like, hang out with me there. So I'm hoping I can meet up with Laura there as well. Um, you, you guys, like Miranda and Leah and Amanda, if you want, um, you, any of you guys are, like, free to, like, join up with us and, like, meet us there and hang out and stuff if you are able to. We haven't set a date yet, but um, something to think about if you guys want to go to Wilmington and, like, meet us there and stuff. Yeah. Um, okay, I think that's it. Um, I think I mentioned everything I wanted to mention. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys next Friday on Halloween, and I will have a special surprise for you guys in my next video. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. All right. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> I tried to do it like Kate Bogle did in that one interview. Yeah. Bye.